I'm very happy to have you by my side. If that day ever comes, I hope that I'll be standing wow. right next to you. <laughs> so, so slow down, please. Wow. I'm moving. It's so bright. I promise you, I will take you with me. Always, no matter where I go. We will not abandon nor betray each other until death do us. Come with me. I want to show you something you'll find very interesting. Consider this my Christmas gift to you. Do not refuse or question me. I don't have to explain myself, and I will not accept a refusal from you. Please enjoy the lovely performance. It was arranged especially for you. Behold, the downfall of a god. Overlords that had gone renegade. Even the supreme Nidhogg could not escape his grim fate. This marked the end of the dragon's reign. Humans became rulers of the world, and their vengeance quickly spread to the four overlords and the dragon survivors. The latter were forced into hiding or fell into a deep slumber. There, they awaited the summoning of a new king. But what people don't know is that while dragon blood in high concentrations is indeed lethal, when it is diluted, it becomes the best catalyst for species evolution.
creatures inside the Petri dishes are the result of your animal experiments, yes? Yes. Just look at them. Polar bears that have grown charge carrying bone spurs. Snakes that have developed dragonfly wings. If only we could apply this miracle to the human body. Do you mean to tell me those children? Of course. Orphans. The best experiment subjects one could hope for. Witness firsthand the power of the hybrids. Shoot him, please, Commissioner. Anton has the ability to increase air viscosity and turn air into gel form around him. The physical principle behind such power is currently unknown to us, but you have already witnessed its stunning efficacy. Anton is even capable of cancelling out the kinetic energy of high-speed bullets. Well, that means that we could have a hybrid army under our control and use it to conquer the entire world! Sure, but the current experimentation phase still has a major flaw. Test subjects have a life expectancy of no more than 20 years. So each year, I put the defective subjects to rest in advance, with the excuse of school admission in the capital. Take this poor, unfortunate child, for example. The dragon blood is literally ripping his body apart. If allowed to, he will become a terrifying monster in less than three days. So, would you please end his misery? For his own sake, Commissioner. Doctor, you have shared with me your most important secret. But I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You have also attracted the attention of an institution called Castle College. I came here to figure out the secret purpose of this place before they did. We must immediately relocate the project and abandon Black Swan Bay. Black Swan Bay has always been, and still is, the perfect hideout for us. To give it up and leave would be a great pity indeed. Your secret will not stay a secret much longer. If word of the Elder Dragon gets out, the entire fruit of your research will be taken away from you. Well then, go ahead. Go ahead and blow Black Swan Bay to smithereens. We will be commanding one of the greatest powers imaginable. Individuals with such power are true kings. And in my experience, kings do not share sovereignty with anyone else. But what will happen to those kids? You seem to have devoted so much attention to them. Granted, these roses may seem precious in the Arctic Circle. But I assure you that the place we are heading for is nothing short of an ever-blooming garden. Mr. Bondarev, let Black Swan Bay vanish from the map once and for all.
This is White Store. This is White Store. Approaching target destination. Area lockdown. Repeat. Area lockdown. Over. Swan death. Mission started. Over.
You have to live. I'm very happy to have you by my side. If that day ever comes, I hope that I'll be standing wow. right next to you. Look. So Slow down, please. Wow. I'm moving. It's so bright. Right. Let's go back. The cleanup ops are complete. Load the Elder Dragon onto the ship. My little Renata, I said that I have a gift for you. I promise you, I will take you with me. Always, no matter where I go. We will not abandon nor betray each other until death do us part. You are awake. There's someone waiting for you. Come with me. Principal, here's the student. Thank you. 